Alright, so I've been really scrolling through the comment section of my previous video here a good bit, and there were three questions that were asked a freaking ton. The first one was, is Wall Street Bets pumping this? The second one was, where can I buy XRP right now as a US investor? And the third one was, why is it pumping right now? What's going on? It is not 8.30 just quite yet. So today, I want to answer all those questions in the best way that I can. But first, check out the freaking Discord. There's a ton of people in it right now. You can see there's 950 people online all the time. There's, uh, I don't know, four or 5,000 people in it. So come check it out right now. It is going to be lit. We're going to be here all night, all day, just talking about this pump that's happening tomorrow. You can see how many people are in the voice chat. It is crazy. All right, so join it and also comment down below. Are you guys excited about XRP? Just comment it down below, yes or no. Let's get it, let's get it going. <laughs> let's get it going. All right, so to start it off, I guess, with point one, where can you buy XRP? Well, a couple of places you can actually buy them still as a U.S. investor, and I know it's become a lot more difficult, but it is still quite doable, all right? And one of those places is Uphold. We've been talking about Uphold for the longest amount of time. The only necessary part you need to know is that there is a pretty long downtime, and I do believe that a verification on Uphold actually takes two days. But again, that's just what my insiders here told me, so that might have already fallen off now. Bitru will work as a US investor, Europe, whatever. It will always work, so that's fine. Crypto.com says the verification takes about two days. You can use this in the US. However, it is actually about 20 minutes to a couple of hours, depending per person. Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes, sometimes a couple of hours, sometimes a couple of days. So you can just test it out and try. Another one is KuCoin. I think they have an app on the App Store and actually also a website, so you can definitely use that one to buy. Some others are saying CoinX, I guess, and let's quickly see what else. Coin Metro as well. These two, I've personally never used, so I cannot say whether or not that is a good thing. But hey, you can go and check it out. It might work for you. Then I've also put here a couple of other things like my own crypto.com BitTrue link. The reason I'm doing that here is because why the freak not, right? Uh, but mostly because these two I personally use so I know it will work and this works for US. If, however, you just want the exchange that has the highest likelihood to stay here all the time, you got to use Binance. However, as a US citizen, you can actually not use it. So a way to go past it, which I cannot say you know, that you should go for, is to use a VPN and... Another option is to go for Bybit. And what basically you should do on these two platforms then is you buy the Bitcoin somewhere else, for example, and you send it to platforms like this. So for example, to Binance, you send it or to Bybit if you want a long, for example, right? Because on Binance and Bybit like that, and I don't even think BitTrue, you don't have KYC. And if you cannot access it with your US IP, then go check out a VPN. Even NordVPN has a um, 30-day money back guarantee. So what you could do if you're a really cheeky guy is you make an account, right? You buy it for, let's say $10 or whatever it is for a month. And you just go and leave a bad review. Say, you know, I don't like it. I want my money back. And I don't think they're really difficult with that. If you really are petty and you don't want to, don't really want to spend it. So go check out your options, whatever you got, you can test it all out because tomorrow is going to be a big day. Then the second part, I guess is, is it wall street bets that is pumping? Now let me quickly see here. Um, here, XRP Crypto Wolf was saying XRP posted its biggest single day gain in three years in a coordinated Wall Street bets buying. It is very important, in my opinion, to know that it is not Wall Street bets who is actually pumping this. If you check it out, there's a couple of things happening over on Twitter. Uh, oh, sorry, guys, on Reddit. This one you can see has about 1.5k upvotes, but. On Wall Street bets, you'll not really find anything about XRP or Ripple. Some go to speculate slash say it was deleted, but I checked through really, really well. And there's nobody talking about it right now. So I'm just going to say here that it's definitely not Wall Street bets pumping it or, or going crazy about it. Uh, I do not know the best ways to search through Reddit though, but I checked hot, I checked new, I checked everything, and I don't see a very big XRP one in there. But if you guys can find it, please link it down below because I'm genuinely interested. I just didn't see anything about XRP, except again for uh, this one right now, which is talking about XRP pump and hold. Telegram group now has over 125,000 members. And right now, I think they already reached the 200,000 and everything is getting pretty damn big. That's again why I'm also saying you guys should join the Discord because there's already a couple thousand people in here, but I'm hoping that people are just going to be talking all the time and just 
and enjoying themselves tomorrow because it's going to be one of the craziest days that we'll ever witness in crypto. So again, if you want to be part of that and just want to be talking with some fellow other XRP holders, that's where you should join right now. You shouldn't miss out. Again, that's my opinion though. But no, I do not think Wall Street Bets is actually going for this. Uh, there's a lot of articles here lying about it basically for clicks or to potentially push it towards more people, but it's definitely not the case, all right? None of this is actually associated with Wall Street Bets in any way, shape, or form. I have it in my name here for fun, because, <clears throat> uh, I don't know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm stupid like that, but it doesn't have anything to do with the actual Wall Street Bets. And even if it is, it's just some very low, low-level effort. Traditional crypto pump groups are being copied and legitimized by Wall Street Bets stock crowd pumps and are now trying to burn gaze from Dogecoin to XRP. Partially true, as there's quite a lot of pumps right now talking about it or groups talking about it. Even this one is a little bit of a pumpy group, right? Even though the idea is not necessarily to pump it, uh, it's just a group where everybody can talk and it's going completely mental. At least in my opinion, it is. People are just talking the whole time. It's, it's ridiculously crazy. I've never seen it this busy. Uh, but go join it because it's going to be it's going to be freaking mental. I can already feel it. And yeah, there's a lot of these groups being made right now. The biggest one is 200,000. There's a couple other ones, like for example, the big, the biggest pump and dump Telegram slash Discord supposedly is also going to be talking about XRP once it comes out. And yeah, I'm just wondering where exactly we can get to on 8:30 exactly. And my question as well for if you're watching this far is: Are you buying 8:30 to the spot or are you going to wait? Oh, or, um, or sorry guys, are you going to buy it a little bit earlier, for example? I know it is not allowed according to the rules and it's not a pump and dump, but it's a pump and hold or basically actually a buy and hold. However, I am showing some concerns here. I know, I know it's not bullish. It's not nice, but hey, I'm looking out for you guys' money here because I don't want you guys all to lose 80% of your value in just a couple of minutes, right? So a good example to give here is what a traditional pump and dump basically does. A pump and dump is there's a couple of people, a group that rally up a whole bunch of people to buy a specific coin at the same time. However, in this case, they don't know the exact coin, so they can only do it once the coin has been announced and they all buy at the same time. With XRP, we don't really have that because everybody knew the coin up front and it's just basically a coordinated effort to buy it all at the same time. But what is a very high likelihood of happening is that the price actually goes ridiculously high the first couple of seconds and then a lot of people who bought earlier that minute or a couple minutes earlier than that, who are, you know, in 50%, 100% profit, they go sell on your ass. And you might say, okay, but that's not a bad thing as long as the majority of the people hold. And that's the bigger question because there is going to be some people, no, there are going to be some people who are scapegoats, basically, who are going to be buying at the highest of the high from which a lot of others will sell. And so... Again, some people will be at a loss from a very high XRP point if it even pumps at all. Because if you're trying to look at real volume, we don't really stand a chance, right? In terms of real money. Because if Jeb McCallum just comes in, all the money that you wanted to pump in has just been negated. And from that perspective, a lot of these big guys also knew that this was going to happen. And they might actually open up some longs, for example, right now, or even some big shorts purely to wait for the if we hit the top side, purely to wait for the highest top, to short it like crazy, and try just flip it on top of our asses. And some guys were saying in the comment section, oh, but if they short, that's not bad. It's very bad because that is a negative price pressure. That is negativity on top of the price. It's basically people betting the price is going to go down, right? It's leverage trading in this case here by saying it's going to go down, basically, which is not good. And if you're wondering how that works, just type out or check out on Google, what is a short? And then convince yourself that that is definitely not a nice thing if you're very extremely bullish on XRP. Now, one thing I must also say, right? People were wondering, why is it pumping right now? Why is it going crazy? I think it is the group here. I think it is the pre-pump. I think it's people getting excited. I think it's people talking with each other and people just speculating as to what is going to happen tomorrow. And that, of course, goes in cycles as every so often people are like, well, but I... But I I still got to have it, right? And if it goes up 4%, then other people go in with a domino effect and try to buy, 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 buy. And of course, this is all because Ripple had a very positive response to the lawsuit a little bit earlier, which is why there's a little, no, I should actually say a very big positive narrative to XRP right now, which is getting a lot of people to just keep holding, keep buying uh, as we speak. The only question I have is, will people really buy at 8.30 specifically to the dot? If so, who's it going to be? Because I would say, you know, out of 
if I were a real XRP supporter, I might, I should actually say I'm going to buy it at 830, right? But if I'm thinking with a rational mind here about the most amount of profit, of course, I would buy it a couple minutes earlier. Of course, I'm not going to buy it at 830 exactly, because if everybody's doing that, that means that I got to be a couple seconds earlier or my average price is going to be way higher. And that's again, it's going to be people who want to take one for the team who are going to have to buy it at 830 to the dot. And I'm going to say, do it, right? Do it. If you really want XP to succeed right now. The whole mission has already succeeded anyway because XP got a freaking ton of attention. You're all seeing it right now. But in terms of price, I'm not too sure. The buy and hold situation, though, the narrative is okay. And as long as the majority of the people are just going to hold on through, the price could stay high and the whole WSB situation can be replicated to a certain degree where the price just pumps to unimaginable levels. But that is the scary part. And that's also why I'm now putting in my whole 100% of my net worth because it's still a risk. It could actually even be that the price dumps exactly that second because right now the price is going up and down also. And that is mostly because people are already anticipating the pump of tomorrow. At least that's my opinion on this matter. That's why we're seeing such a huge amount of fluctuation. Also, go follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already, by the way. We are almost at 10,000 followers. I'm really excited for that. So just come check it out. Quickly give me a follow and we should hit it in no time. All right, so come check it out. Then institutional demand for crypto isn't subsiding, but impact will be gradual. Now, this is something I would not really like to mention, but I really have to. And that is my question as to whether or not institutions will really like XRP after seeing what happened here. So even though I think the community-driven effort is good for us, it is good for the popularity of XRP, I think it may work adversely with the bigger institutions as they might not want to be involved with a coin that can have such a huge influence by the community, just pump and dump it, right? If you have a multi-billion dollar business and you want to exchange your Nostro Vostra system to XRP only, if that coin is just going to be pump and dumped, I know that's not the idea. The idea is to pump and hold or buy and hold, but let's say it does pump and dump. If that happens so heavily, and it's a community-driven effort, as a business, you would be kind of scared, right? Because if the, the community decides to go against you or does something crazy, well, you're, you're messed up with your billion-dollar business. I'm just thinking about that for a little second. But again, if you have a different opinion, just put it down below. Because what I also do think is that XRP right now is defying a lot of the odds. A lot of people are saying XRP cannot move outside of Bitcoin, but... Whatever you want to say, XRP is having a move right now outside of Bitcoin. The the D uh, the correlation is definitely not measurable anymore as at this point. I don't even want to go and try to calculate the correlations at this point. It's a freaking mess, all right? And that is because these charts look nothing alike. And it is really a question of whether or not XRP has really already beat the lawsuit or if this is just a start to something bigger. Now, if you were wondering, I did buy some XRP earlier today at about 45 cents. It may be a very profitable thing. It may actually lose me money. But from my perspective, it is a fine buy. At least my opinion was, as long as I can buy XP under 50 cents, it's fine. And if you guys really want to, I'll go stream tomorrow and I will actually contribute at around 8.30 to actually buy some XRP purely for you guys to be part of the team as well, be part of the community. But if it were me, I wouldn't actually go for 8.30. But again, that's just because I'm looking out for my own personal interest, my own money. And in the end, I think almost anybody is here right now with a pump and buy type of scheme because they want to make money with it. Again, it's not the best thing for XRP, but it's the best thing for your wallet in the end. Otherwise, you're the stupid ass stuck with an average price on XRP of 80 cents, while the rest is all buying it at 40, 45 or whatnot. But again, that's just my opinion. Then, VU XRP rally tomorrow. A lot of people are asking, where can the price go? Guys, honestly, I think it's really a, a very difficult question to answer. And I know I cannot answer it officially, but it can definitely go above a dollar. Uh, because right now the pump is not even there. So there's still hundreds of thousands of people just waiting behind their computer, just thinking about tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. And I do think today is just a start and tomorrow people are going to really buy because they're like, oh, it's going to happen in a couple of hours. And they're going to basically have the same thought that I had where they're like, oh, I got to buy it because they're going to be pumping it up in a couple of hours. So again, my buy XRP just now was, uh, deliberate because I thought I thought with that mindset like okay if I buy today and people are going to be buying it en masse tomorrow to be a little bit before the pump then it should theoretically speaking still pump upwards that was my mindset about it that's why I bought uh, but again I might even buy some more tomorrow if you guys say I should just for the memes just for fun and because well that way we can actually maybe do something for XRP what do you guys think though what do you think the amount of volume we can actually bring in is if you really count the amount of members in the community we're talking, let's say, 300,000 people. So those 300,000 people, if they on average have $1,000, we're basically on par with Jeb McCallop. 
or okay, let's say we're a little bit bigger than Jeb McCallop. Jeb McCallop is, let's say, 1% of the total trading volume that he can sell. What can we really do from that perspective? It is only because we're all buying it at the same time that that could be a big thing. And as I said before, because there's even less exchanges right now helping out XRP for the US, it could actually be that we get a higher price on average even quicker, which might have a little bit of a domino effect going on. Uh, and again, it could be pretty damn big. So I'm definitely here watching all day, not going any mother in where, just watching it all the time because I, I think it might go really beyond limits. But check out the Discord as I've said before. Let's discuss it. Let's keep talking about it. I want to see this chat go full. All right, go join right now. There's four chats. Might even have to make more because there's just a ton of people flowing in right now as we speak. It's going completely crazy. Dogecoin is pumping too. Let me know what you guys think about that coin as well. It's dumping already again, but it, it hit four cents just a couple of uh, a minutes ago. I think like 30 minutes ago or so. What a crazy time for the crypto space. Damn, guys. Damn.